Hi everyone and welcome to this Valkyrie sound tutorial on applying reverb in UE4. In this video we'll apply reverb to a short sound in the default third person example map. I'm going to assume that you haven't yet imported your sound into UE4. In the description below there's a link to download the wire that I'm going to use in this short video. If you use a shorter sound and add a delay to the sound cue, we'll be able to hear the reverb effect when it's applied to the sound more easily than if we're using a longer sound. So click and drag the sound from your drive into the UE4 content browser. From version 4.23 onwards, Unreal needs a sound to be attenuated for reverb to be applied. Attenuation controls how the sound behaves when we're close to it and when we move further away. If you right click on the content browser and then go to sounds and sound attenuation. We don't need to change any of the settings in this, so once we've named it, we can just close it if it's opened up. So I'm going to call this ATT test 2. Next we're going to create our sound cue. So right click on the WAV that we've just imported and select create cue. Then open up the cue. Just create a bit of space here. And we want to add a delay node. And a looping node. So the looping node will leave those settings as they are, and for the delay node, we're going to change the min and max to 1. With nothing selected in the queue, on the left hand panel, if we scroll down to we see the attenuation section with this blue box, click the drop down there, and select the attenuation we've just created. Let's save that, and we can close the queue. And now we can create our reverb. So back in the content browser, if you right click, sounds, effects if you're using version 2.4 and onwards, and then reverb effect. We'll just leave that with the name it is there. We open that up. And we're going to change the gain to 1. And the decay time to 3. That'll make it a little bit more obvious when we go to test this in a moment. So save that, close it. Next on the left hand panel, we have different options down here. One of those is volumes. And we want to select the audio volume. If you just click and drag that out into the map. And now we need to size this so it fills the space where we want the reverb to be applied. So yeah. That's fine. Scroll back up here, we have a reverb section. Now by default, this isn't exposed like this, so you may have to click the settings to expand that. And in this drop down for reverb effect, select the reverb that we've just created there. Next, we're going to get our sound cue, the one that we've just made. And we're going to click and drag this into the game then press launch in play mode. So depending on the version of UE4 you're using, you might not be able to hear the reverb. From version 4.23 onwards, you need to use a console command to get the reverb to work when you're playing in the editor. So staying in play mode, if you hit the tilde key, just above the tab key, bring up the console command area there, and you want to type in au dot is. And that gets you this is using audio mixer. Press tab, space, one, and then enter. The sound will stop. So if we exit out of play mode and then go back into it, we should now hear that the reverb has been applied. There we are. And that's it, a very quick tutorial on applying reverb to sounds in Unreal Engine. Hope that's been useful, take care and good luck with your projects.